lift about how far is it? 100 meters here. 80 meters. This is a blue door with, a, with, with James, head of, head of press, waiting to open it. Shall we go? Yes. Oh my lordy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and one man built this. <laughs> it came, came in a kit, didn't it? A glider kit. That is absolutely fantastic. It's eye blowing. Massive. Will that bit fit in there? The blue, the big blue thing. Yeah, it's going to be built out. There's another bit to go on. So basically, what we're looking at is the the, the end of the LHC. So it's a it's a tunnel. Well, I suppose it's about what two two and a half meters high, and that goes 27 kilometers out underneath right. France. And then, you're <laughs> and then for particles to come out this way, right? No. What, what happens is one beam of protons comes in that way. Yeah. So out of the wall. The other beam, which we'll go and see at the other end, comes in the other way, yeah. and they collide in the middle of that. So right. th this is the Atlas is a big cylinder. So it's a 40 meter long cylinder. What, what are these strips coming out? So this huge gold wheel is, is the forward muon detector. So yeah, th this detector. thing is, is yeah, th this thing is built purely to detect muons. The only particles <laughs> that will get out there, other than things that you can't see, like neutrinos or gravitons, yeah. if they yeah. exist. Uh, are muons and so any particle that goes through those gold detectors there is, is guaranteed to be a muon um, right. and, and essentially every gas angle you've, you've covered yeah it's complete I mean the idea of these things is to cover as close to 360 degrees around the collision as you can because you've got to capture everything yeah. you know we mentioned earlier that one of the things you want to look for is missing energy yeah. so that might be things going off into other dimensions yeah. so in order to do that you've got to make sure that you cover every bit that so you can the, the, the actual gold pieces of metal are the things that are the detectors yeah they, they, these are um, <laughs> gas detectors so really basically there's a gas inside there oh, and a muon yeah. goes through and it, and it ionizes the gas yeah. and then you've just got electric wires and you uh, you put a current on them and the mm. ions go and hit the wire and you get an electric pulse so they, they're kind of really in a way old-fashioned detectors yeah. these things they're made of gas and wires Brute certainly force. these ones on the outside yeah. inside there's a, a silicon detector a really high-tech bit of stuff which a lot of the British universities collaborated in building actually and that's like CCDs and a camera it re really is just layer after layer after layer of, of, of digital cameras basically in the middle <laughs> What would you hope to have achieved in, in 10 years if you had a, a list of, a wish list, five or 10 years? What? I, I guarantee and therefore strongly hope <laughs> that we'll discover the origin of mass. I mean, in, in many ways, this machine's been built to do that. And we know we have to do it because our theory, back to the philosophy again, but our theory breaks down energies below those at which we're going to collide things together in this machine unless you put some sort of mechanism in for generating mass in the universe. So, so I mean, when you, you, know, you might say, well, it's just maths, that, it's just a theory, but the thing is, that's all our understanding. So, so our, our, if your understanding breaks down and you've got an experiment in which it breaks down, then, you, then you've done it. You've done the job. Oh